To Virginia Beach now, and day five of the trial over Virginia Beach's failed arena deal and the lawsuit that followed. Today in court, debate on whether the multi-million dollar arena and entertainment complex was going to be worth the money in the first place. Ten on your side's Brett Hall continues our coverage tonight. This concludes day five of the failed Virginia Beach arena trial, and there is still a lot of evidence that has yet to be revealed in the courtroom. It was promised to bring in big shows, big sports, and big money. So what is the true reason behind such a big flop? I, w I was absolutely <coughs> shocked that, that after all the work that we had done, that this is what the culmination of, the, of four years was. On the stand this week, Mid-Atlantic Arena President and CEO Andrea Kilmer says her company had all the money their agreement with the city required them to have in place by the deadline set by the city back in 2017. Rather, she accuses city leaders of deciding they no longer wanted the arena for the downfall. However, the city side now paints the development group as not having two nickels to rub together. An attorney said, quote, they knew they had a problem and they desperately tried to hide it from the city. Today, a financial expert took the stand to support the developer's request for millions of dollars in damages. But the city argued that AEG, the company that would operate the arena, cast some doubt on projections such as the number of events the arena would hold and revenue it would create long before the deal went bust. They pointed to a 2014 feasibility study completed by the city calling the naming rights revenue projections, quote, aggressive. After all this time, what are the views of what happened in the eyes of the former mayor and the city manager? We're going to hear that story when we come back to court on Monday. Reporting outside the Virginia Beach Courthouse, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. And now